Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the blog. I am, or the vlog, I am on my way up to the cottage to help my mom uh, get a few more things done. She needs the weed eating done. She needs uh, me to put in a ladder into the lake. And so I brought my drill, because their drill is like a cordless drill. It doesn't work very well. And uh, so I brought my own drill and uh, I have to cut up a tree that fell, I guess, in the winter time in the lake and uh, it's under our dock and it's, someone's gonna like hurt themselves on it. So I gotta cut that all up. So I got three jobs I gotta do. So we're headed up to the cottage, but first, double double. Can I get a large double double and uh, a bacon, a bacon and egg McMuffin? <laughs> Here we go. I'm oh, sorry. Would you like me to go to McDonald's? No, I'm sorry. Ah, ah. No, it just comes cool. out yes, like that. Cool. We'll find one for you. <laughs> How about um, just something with egg and bacon on it? I can do and that. a muffin. An English muffin with a large <laughs> double double. Yes, please. Anything else? Would you like the hash brown to make that a combo today? No, it's all right. Thanks. Your total today is 564 and I'll see you at the window. Okay? All right, thank you. You're welcome. Damn! I hate when I do that. It just come. people have been saying it for so long, it's so hard not to say it any other way. Oh boy. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Years of saying that, right? I know. It's so true. You know what? Uh, I've said it to customers in the drive. I'm like, you want a bacon McMuffin? I'm yeah. like, oh, I'm just, uh, <laughs> Would you like me to go to McDonald's to get you That's that? That's right. Today? That's and good. Like I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Gen 67 left on your part. Perfect. Okay? Thank you. By no way Here's your large <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Have a, Hi have a great day, ladies. Bye now. Bye. All right. Well, we finished that screw up. Time to go to the cottage. Check it out. A plane. Sweet. Well, I got as far as I could get, and now it's just stopped traffic. The map says that it is solid red all the way up there. So that is not good, it must be an accident. So I have to get off the highway and uh, hmm, make my way through the secondary roads. It's now 11.24, I've been in traffic for over at least 25 minutes. There's an exit here, but I'm not sure if I can get off the highway. I'm not sure if it's just an on-ramp, but uh, the traffic is still... Stop, and I just saw a construction sign, so I don't think it's an accident. I think they are doing some major construction, and it's causing this really nasty uh, backup on the highway. Huh. Well, let's hope we can get off. It doesn't, again, it doesn't look like anybody's getting off the highway. This is when you need a 4x4, four four, right? You just wow, 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 Right through the RV area and then out into the road and get out of this hell. Well, I got close enough to this off-ramp. So what I'm doing right now is totally illegal. Just driving, but there's about, I don't know, 250 meters of shoulder before we got to the off-ramp. Okay, well, we gotta turn up here Go across the bridge. Now we're gonna get a little bit of a bird's eye view. I just can't believe more people aren't getting off this highway. There's a way around this. And so it is stopped all the way up there and all the way down. I should have got off at the last exit. It 
up to the cottage. Just gonna get my water, gonna get my work clothes. Whoops, my shoes. I should have put that in a bag, what do you think? I think I should have. Tinky Wink! Tinky Wink! The Tinksters came to say hello. Yeah, looking for Sam. Hi, Tinky! Hi, Tinky Wink! What? What do you want, Tinky Woo? Tinky Woo! Oh. Oh. Hi, Mom! Hi. Okay, just had it finished lunch with mom. She made like a uh, salmon on toasted bagels with a little bit of onion and salt and pepper. Oh, it was good. So, and then we just chatted for a bit, talked about life, work, which was really nice on the deck. Now it's time to weed eat. I have to do like the top of the driveway and anywhere there's weeds all the way down to the lake. Let's do it. Another thing, uh, Mom said we got all that rain, and like I told you before, I said the water comes down the driveway. We have ditches and swales, but it sometimes definitely builds up a bit. We we'll come down here and all go down our path, and just it'd be like a river running through there. So that's because we had a piece of wood there, and it was low down to the ground. The water would just go naturally over it. So that's why I put the stone up higher, redid this whole thing, and she said uh, the last couple days when it rained the water built up like a puddle and then like I've definitely got through the crack which I knew it would but it, that definitely slowed it down so we got a little bit of overspill which is fine but it held it back it stopped the rushing of the water and rushing that down there which is great I'm so glad that worked Just to give you a heads up, tried to start the uh, weed eater. It didn't want to start. Again, when we winterize it, we ran it out of fuel, which is what we always do. And then when you go to start it up in the spring, you put brand new fuel in it, which is what we did. And uh, would not start. Primed it many times, then had it on the right settings, had it had it choke on, like everything you need to do to start it. I have one at home and mine starts. So I don't know what the difference between this one and the one at home is. So mom just took it to, because there's other things I need to do. She just took it over to uh, one of the marinas and is gonna ask them to help her get it started. And I told her to watch what they do just in case they do something different that I was doing. All right, so we had to put this ladder in. It's a very cool ladder. It's great for dogs and people who have issues climbing up a straight ladder out of a out of water. So this one goes on an angle like this, like stairs. So dogs and uh, pets can get in and out of the water, and people who have a hard time getting in and out of the water. So first things first, we're gonna put this down. This is just the first brace. Oh, look at the size of this guy. Oh, that's a big dock spider, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And it's one of those things again. This is the dragonfly nymph or the nymph? Something like that. Got the extension cord plugged into the old pump. I have to use two extension cords. It's really long to the end of the dock. Got the ladder put in. That flips into the water once you've installed it. I got my drill for later. Right now, I just got to put one or two of these in, just so that it stays put. Never tighten anything completely until you're sure everything's in the right spot. <laughs> I just flopped it in the water, I forgot to show you. But that slowly has all these holes in it and it starts to fill up and then eventually goes all the way down. If you stood on it, obviously it will fill up faster. Now it's got a line 
this piece of wood, make sure it's in the right spot. Once that's down, then I can screw this down and that will help keep it under control. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'll just put that one in too already. Just keep working. Again, this will fill up. <laughs> All done, perfect. That's how to put a piece of wood behind it to stop it from going down so far. All right, just finished uh, blowing off the roof and uh, then the deck. All looks pretty there now. The uh, my mom took the weed whacker to it to the guys the mechanics and they said oh it's just I guess when I tried to start it I started it a bit too a little gung-ho I guess you could call it and so apparently when you do that to that style of um, that style of weed whacker it uh, floods it so I flooded it we're just gonna let it dry out I think I've seen other people also take the spark plug out and let it all air out and then put it all back together and try again but just let it sit there and try to fix itself start well time to go in the water got to take a piece of wood off this dock that belongs on that dock and secure that ladder steps all right here we go oh it's cold come on buddy you can do it oh don't drop the camera oh. now there's that log under there we gotta fix <laughs> Woo! water level's really high So cold. So I gotta take these two screws out. Take these screws out. It means I gotta empty this first. Lots of water, or just hoist it up maybe more. I gotta take these off, and then I gotta put this piece of wood over here. Oh, this is the deepest part right here. Right there. Just gotta put it right into that spot. But since we're here, I'll show you. Oh, it's so cold at the moment. So you start lifting this sucker out. As you lift it, it empties of water, comes out these holes. Let it all empty, so it's lighter. And that's all she wrote folks I could put it back further so it's up against where it's supposed to be but the bolts would be like going right here so what I didn't need to do is cut off this 2x4 and put a 2x6 in there or something so that it sits in the right spot but the fix is just extend the dock out a little bit I'll show you when I'm done because I'm afraid to I'm gonna drop the camera in while working finished up helping out with mom the uh, weed eater never worked so we're going to get it fixed uh, we're gonna either I'm gonna come up on Saturday or Monday just to do all the weed eating just to make that nice it's gotta look nice people but we got the there's a big log stuck underneath the dock that floated in here during the winter time I had to drag it all out and then cut it up into pieces so it's all down there. So I've got all my jobs done. I'm headed home. Kick back, relax, have a beer, watch a movie.
on my way home, as you can see, I wanted to stop by High Falls and just show you around a little bit before we go all the way home. I have been coming here for a very long time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little adventure as the camera falls. Yeah, never seen the high falls from that height. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Time to go home. Mm -hmm.